Hi, I'm Al Williams. This is a demonstration of Wonder, the one instruction CPU running a simple program. I've brought up GTK term, which is a standard Linux terminal program. Of course, you can use anything you've got that will talk to the serial port, but we need to configure the port first. I'm going to set it to 19200 baud. Of course, this is the correct port. All this is correct. If we're going to send a file of hex bytes, uh, or hex words rather, down to the board, we need a little delay at the end of each line, and so I'm going to ask it to wait 10 milliseconds between each line if it's doing a file transfer, and that just gives Wonder a little time to stick those words into memory. So now we'd like to start up Wonder. We get the prompt for the monitor. The monitor is pretty simple, and you can do things like view flash and look at the functional units and set the flash and execute programs but of course right now there's no program in there for us to execute so I'm gonna jump over to a shell window and the first thing I want to do is make sure that my path has the cross assembler on it so that the fourth compiler can find the assembler and I have a small program it's a high-low game that it actually guesses your number that's written in fourth it's in the file high-low.4th.4th so I've got a script here that drives the compiler called Forgo, and it just takes the base name of the program. So in this particular case, my program is actually called HiLo.4th, so I'm just going to give it HiLo. And that actually produces quite a few files with that prefix. It's HiLo.assim is the actual assembler output. HiLo.mem is the hex output in a format suitable for the Xilinx tools. We also have a dump, a list file, and a symbol file. That gives you some information that you might find useful when you're debugging. But the one we're really interested in right now is the hilo.mon file, which stands for monitor. And that's basically the command that says start flashing at address 200 and flash all these bytes into there. So let's go back to the terminal. Tell it that we want to send a file, and we're here in this folder and we've already got hilo.mon picked out here so we press OK and as you can see the terminals busily squirting 32-bit words into the memory with evidently a 10 millisecond delay you notice that the program started at 200 you can control that in the fourth compiler but that's the default so we'll run that and the computer tells us it's thinking of a number from or it wants you to think of a number from 1 to 999 and it's guessing 500 so I'll tell it that that's too high uh, 250 is too high, 125 is too low, 187 is too high, 156, that's the number I was thinking of, so that's correct, and it took five tries. And I can either play again, or I can go back to the monitor. And that's basically the wonder board and how you load software into it. Thanks for watching.